Hey, what's up guys? Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel in Malaysia. Okay, so hot on the heels of their huge update last week on their 80s Commander set, aka the Centurions, Ramen Toys has now updated some pretty sizzling news on their Facebook page regarding their upcoming Quicksilver figure from the Silverhawks. Now, based on the update that they provided, Ramen Toys is going to start taking pre-orders starting tomorrow, okay, which is Monday, the 24th of January. They're going to start taking pre-orders on this lavish and exquisite-looking 7-inch scale Quicksilver figure, which, as you can see from this photo, comes stuffed with a whole ton of goodies. Checking out the full product breakdown that Ramen Toys has provided, first up, it says that Quicksilver here is going to be approximately 7 inches tall. Now, with the earlier 80s Commander set that they did, a lot of the complaints that I saw from buyers and even from what I've seen of the toys personally, those were a lot shorter than even you know the most standard Marvel Legends figure. So hopefully, Quicksilver here measures up a lot better on a display with other 7-inch figures in your collection. More on the breakdown, this figure will feature construction made out of a combination of PVC and ABS. So it's definitely going to be sturdy. It will also have 25 points of articulation, which means that your Quicksilver Silverhawk figure can now finally be posed in a variety of dynamic flight positions like never before. Okay, if you remember the original 80s figure only featured 5 points of articulation tops. Okay, some other features listed here. The figure is going to have an interchangeable face and mask, uh, which will be applied through magnetic attachment. Also, uh, he's going to have a detailed sculpted head and body. Well, you know, that pretty much goes without saying. And interchangeable wing parts. About the detailing on the face, now based on the photo provided here, Quicksilver looks very good. The expression on his face sculpt is spot on. All right, this guy looks serious and determined. You know, definitely the face of a leader. This sculpt is in fact a dramatic improvement over the faces on any of their 80s commander speakers for sure. Uh, I definitely like it. I just hope that it just stays this way and nothing changes it during the final production process. Now, Tallyhawk will come with interchanging wings and it's great to see that Tallyhawk's getting some care and attention as well. A big part of the Silverhawks are their companion attack birds. And definitely for the classic cannon line, the birds did add a lot of play value to the sets as each of them came with their own unique action features. Now the action features themselves weren't great, but I always liked the effort that they put into trying to get each bird to be able to have a different operating gimmick. Of course, Tallyhawk here is not expected to come with action features of any kind, uh, but it's great that they gave you the opportunity to be able to pose him in several different ways with you know, different interchanging parts. Now, Quicksilver will also come with three sets of optional hand parts. And uh, I know that this is something that probably a lot of collectors enjoy to have, but having additional hands is never something that I look forward to in an action figure set. I don't know, man. It just doesn't get me excited at all. Okay, I'm happy usually with the post that they have him in. And I would just prefer the additional accessories to be other stuff, you know, like weapons or, you know, something more unique, you know, but just don't give me additional hands, okay? And this one comes with like freaking hell six different hands, okay? It says here that Quicksilver will come in a collector's window box packaging. And I gotta tell you, honestly, if you guys remember what the 80s Commander's boxes look like, you know, those were freaking amazing. Now, this is something that I am excited about. Packaging definitely plays a huge part, especially if you're getting a nice premium and pretty expensive action figure for your collection. And in the case of what Ramon Toys has shown us with 80s Commanders, their work on the packaging boxes is just absolutely stunning, all right? Now this thing is just dripping with so much fantastic artwork, okay, in the front and in the back of the box, you know, okay? Uh, the whole layout of the whole package was just fantastic. And they've shown us that they're willing to give us something that's really nice and exquisite. All right, to house the action figure in. And this is what we want to see, all right? So I think that in this regard, I'm really excited to see what Ramon Toys is going to give us for the Quicksilver figure. But I think that they're going to amaze us with something absolutely stunning. Now, one of the things that the Quicksilver figure is supposed to feature is this silver finishing to the paint. 
And I just think that this is a really great approach to this toy, okay? Just put the whole thing, lay it all down with silver finishing, all right? It gives it this nice glossy and premium feel. And to me, I actually prefer it to, to VAC Metal, okay? Because, uh, you know, I know a lot of people remember the VAC Metal on the classic Silverhawks figures from the 80s, but those really didn't stand up too well through the test of time. You know, they got stripped off through wear and tear and just play. And, you know, if you just want to be handling these toys, uh, honestly, I don't really think back metal holds up really well. Uh, and I just feel that the silver finishing probably is a much better approach, all right? Um, a lot of people will probably still want the VAC metal and who knows, maybe Raman Toys might reissue this at some point again in the future with a VAC metal finishing as a variant or something like that. But uh, for me personally, I think that the silver finishing is a good approach and I'm happy that it's on this figure. Now, I'm really looking forward to see what Raman Toys has in store for us in the future. I think this is one of the independent toy companies to really look out for. Uh, granted, they kind of stumbled out the gate a little bit with their initial offerings of the 80s Commander set. But, you know, if you follow them on Facebook and stuff like that, they've been pretty open about it. And they talked about how, they, you know, they recognize the issues with the sculpt on those figures and the other issues with the joints and stuff like that. And they've worked to improve it. And uh, if this Quicksilver figure is any indication, wow, they've really put in a lot of hard work okay to getting the best possible product out there and i think it really shows in this particular figure and uh i'm just also it, it's kind of curious because you know um the first the first offering 80s commanders was not really licensed uh but the second one here is officially licensed all right silverhawks it comes with the silverhawks branding and it just shows that the company is really growing in such a short span of time uh i also find it interesting that actually both of their choices are former Cannon Parker toy products, right? And uh, you know, it just got me wondering what else could these guys, you know, do in the future. Now, here's a couple of '80s properties that are, you know, fairly obscure, but I think that they have a solid cult following that lasts up to today. And these are lines that I think that are probably overdue for a relaunch. Among them is Hasbro's Cops and Crooks. All right, this line was just awesome back in the day. Uh, it really deserved more than it actually got, you know, but it was pretty solid. It had an animated series, a full toy line from Hasbro. It deserves a second look. And another one which I'm sure that you guys remember is the Adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. Now, this show, wow. I tell you honestly, I've got some friends that I know personally. You know, these guys up to today, they're so freaking crazy for this show. And I think that it's one of those things that never really had a very visible toy line or any kind of supporting merchandise to really go with it. And it's overdue, guys. It's overdue for a revamp. Now, this is one particular show that is a personal favorite of mine, okay? I personally remember being completely addicted to this show in the 1980s and it's you know it's absolutely fantastic you know the concepts fantastic a space western you know a sci-fi ranger in space you know Marshall Bravestar okay Marshall Bravestar okay this guy's awesome you know the characters were great the villains were great all right and uh, I definitely feel that you know probably this is a line that you know Raman Toys could probably explore since they're obviously on this 80s trip you know and they're bringing back all these classic favorites. Marshall Bravestar. I can I can tell you right now. Okay, I can almost see the pre-orders happening. Right. Guys, think about it. Okay, guys. So that's the video. Let me know what you think of the Raman Toys Quicksilver figure. The pre-order on this goes up on January 24th at an early bird price of 65 USD. And uh, this pre-order price is available up to February the 13th based on the update on their website. And I honestly think that, look, if you are a fan of Silverhawks, okay, definitely you want to support this movement, all right, so we get to see more stuff being made. Uh, I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing here. I believe that I will be placing an order on this, all right? So let me know what you guys uh, think of the figure. Let me know what you guys think of the video. I want to hear your comments. And I'll catch you guys again real soon. Thank you.